In this video, we are going to solve problem on centrifugal pump where we will calculate discharge rate of centrifugal pump and power required to operate the pump. So the question is given as a centrifugal pump work against 10 meter at 1000 rpm. The vanes are curved back at an angle 30 degree to the tangent at outer periphery. The impeller diameter is 30 cm and has width 5 cm at outlet. Determine discharge if manometric efficiency is 95%. Also determine power required to operate the pump if overall efficiency is 65%. To solve this problem, first I will write down the given data provided. Where manometric head is given as 10 meter with rotational speed of impeller that is capital N is given as 1000 rpm. When angle at outlet that is angle phi equal to 30 degree. The outer diameter of impeller capital D2 is given as 30 cm that is 0.3 meter and width of impeller at outlet that is capital B2 equal to 5 cm that is 0 0.05 meter. The manometric efficiency is given as 95% that is 0.95 and overall efficiency is given as 65% that is 0.65. Here in this problem, first we want to calculate discharge rate capital Q which is given by formula that is pi d2b2 into vf2. Here values of diameter and width at outlet of impeller is given in problem that is d2 equal to 0.3 meter and b2 is given as 0 0.05 meter. Here we need to calculate vf2 which we can calculate from trigonometric ratio of tan phi which is equal to opposite side vf2 divided by adjacent side u2 minus vw2 where angle phi is given in problem as 30 degree and u2 we can calculate from the formula that is velocity of fan at outlet that is u2 equal to pi d2 n by 60 where d2 is 0.3 meter and capital N is 1000 rpm. So we will calculate u2 as 15.708 meter per second. So from here we will get u2 that is velocity of fan at outlet. Now to calculate vw2 we will use manometric efficiency equation because manometric efficiency is given in problem as 95% and manometric efficiency is given by the ratio of manometric head HM divided by head imparted by impeller that is VW2 into U2 divided by small g. Here manometric head HM is given in problem as 10 meter and we had already calculated U2 as 15.708 meter per second. So here only unknown is VW2. So by calculating this we will get VW2 as 6.574 meter per second. Now we will substitute the values of Vw2 and u2 in tan phi equation and I will calculate Vf2 as 5.274 meter per second and I will put this Vf2 value in discharge formula and by calculating this we got discharge rate capital Q equal to 0.2485 meter cube per second. Next we want to calculate power required to drive the centrifugal pump. So to calculate power required to drive the pump that is shaft power I will use oral efficiency equation which is equal to power output that is rho gq into virtual head that is h virtual and whole time divided by shaft power where virtual head represents the total head through liquid can lifted when all friction losses in pipes, impeller and casing are neglected. Therefore the formula of virtual head becomes Vw2 into u2 divided by small g. Here small g small g get cancelled and the values of capital Q that is discharge rate and Vw2 and u2 we have already calculated and overall efficiency equal to 0.65. Therefore by substituting all these values we will get power required to drive the centrifugal pump as 39.479 kilowatt. 